Ay, mga ka-solar, and again, I'm here. It's rolling for solar ko ng info. So, sa ngayon, mga ka-solar, may nagtanong na naman sa akin. Bakit hindi naubos yung mga tanong-tanong na yan? Isang tanong, isang sagot. So, yung tanong niya sa akin, ang kaibigan natin ka-solar, no, Sir, Lodi, yung ka-solar. Yung tanong niya, ganito, simple lang, mga lods. Ano yun ba yung maganda na battery? Kasi plano niyang bumili ng isang live po na battery. Eh ano ba yung mas maganda? Yung 12 volts, 200 ampere hour or yung 24 volts, 100 ampere hour? So gulong-gulo siya mga lods. Tulungan na natin. So actually mga lods, may advantages at advantages dyan. So yung dalawa na yan ay parehos mga gandang battery klase ni If you are choosing with the blue carbon lift up sun, ano ba yung mga ano, lit, light po, mga light po, mga light po. Or uh, GSL batteries, yung mga one, marami tayong mga bi- light po battery yung mga, mga loads, no? So, ano ba ang mas magandang piliin? If 12 volts, 200 ampere hour, or isang 12, 24 volts, 100 ampere hour. So, here we go mga kasolar. Basically mga kasolar, dito na naman tayo at ito ang ating dalawang contender na battery ngayon. Dalawang LiPo PU4 battery. So, ang gaganda ng mga solar ito mga kasolar. And it's really uh, napagaganda ang mga battery nito if we have ito ang gamit natin sa ating mga solar set or solar build mga kasolar. No? So, assuming mga loads ha, we have a 12 volts 200 ampere hour na rated na battery and then 24 volts 100 ampere hour battery so parehong pareho to mga solar different lang yung brand and ano bang pagkakaiba nito which is more advantageous kung gagamitin mo okay because as we learned before mga solar kung tingnan natin ang kanyang power output ng dalawang battery na to or total power storage we all have the same so 12 times 200 is 2400 stored capacity na power that is 2400 watt hour the same also with 24 volts 100 ampere hour battery we have a total power storage capacity of 2400 watt hour ba mga kasolar parang parehos lang it's all the same no walang pagkakaiba and since it is a LiPo PO4 battery I strongly advise to recommend na ito ay similar yung battery chemistry no? mm, similar na similar and then the power dip of discharge nito mga loads is the same so as expert says it should also have at 80% dip of discharge from both of this battery so the same lang mga loads yung power utilization niya daily 80% yung dapat yung healthy usable power dip of discharge mo so walang pagkakaiba di ba mga kasolar but I think hindi sa ganyang paraan mga kasolar actually it has a very big difference so meron tayong pagkakaiba dyan mga kasolar mm-hmm. malaki ang pagkakaiba nito mga kasolar and which is more advantageous sa dalawang ito so here we go again assuming ito, ito na nga ito na diba, ito ay isa is 12 volts, yung isa 24 volts yung isa naman is 100 ampere hour while yung isa is 200 uh, 100 ampere hour 200 ampere hour yung size size 200 uh, 100 ampere hour okay okay yan ang ating power kilowatt hour no so dito na yung magkakaiba loads if lalagyan na natin siya ng load if we will try to put a load of a total of 200 watts let's see what will happen mga kasolar sa kanyang current rating output current Current is the rate of electricity flowing out through your battery or coming in. This is the current rating, mga loads. By just dividing your load over the 
system voltage mo. So, we have 200 watts load over 12 volts. So, from battery number 1, mga loads, you have 200 divided by 12 is 16.67 amperes. Okay? While the other battery, mga loads, 200 watts over 24 volts is equals to Ilan ba yung mga lor? Pakicompute naman. Alexa. Para natutulog si Alexa. That is 8.33 amperes. So, as you observe mga kasolar, Alexa, stop. As we can see mga load, mas mataas yung 12 volts system kaysa 24 volts system. Yung output current niya is mas malaki. Ah, well compared to a 24 volt system. So that is the load current mga kasolar. Then how about yung charging current niya, yung charging current. If we will charge these batteries. Okay? Let's all go to the charging current. So as you can see mga load assuming we will have a total of how many watts ba dapat i-charge natin mga load. Just assuming ya yeah, to show you the this this uh, the advantages of both of these two so charging power let's assume mga ka solar if we will put a charging power of 400 watt solar panel dito so again just simply divide the charging power over your system voltage so 400 over 12 volts is how much hmm current 33.33 amps max ka solars. This is roughly equivalent to 33.33 amps. While the other side sa 24 volts is 400 over 12 volts. No, hindi ito 12 volts. Just it's 24 volts mga ka solar no. 24 volts. To ilan yan? Ilan? Ilan ba? So that is 16.67 amperes. So, nakikita natin mga loads, pati sa charging power niya, charging current, mas mataas yung charging current ng 12 volt system kaysa 24 volt system. So, ano bang epekto mga kasolar if mas mataas yung charging current versus over the yung isa? Kasi nadodobol, di ba? Nadodobol yung system current charging at saka sa kanyang discharge current din sa kanyang load side. Diba mga kasolar? As we observe, diba? So, ganito. Let's go back now. Let's go back to the topic. Ganito yon. If meron kang mas mataas na current, yung mangyayari ng system mo is you will need a higher current rating na solar charge controller. So, kunyari dito. Sa 12 volt system mo, you need a 40 amps solar charge controller. While sa 24 volt system mo, kailangan mo lang 20 amperes na solar charge controller. So, mas mahal yung controller na 40 amps kaysa 20 amperes na solar charge controller. So, this is the one factor. So, mas nakakatipid ka sa 24 volt system. And also with the size of wire mga ka solar. So, because itong 12 volt system mo is my mas taas na current requirement so that means to have, you need to have a larger wire. Where yung isa is ma double yung less ng battery mo, ah, yung battery, yung wire, uh, current rating mo, you need to have a small size required na wire. Ang ating mga conclusion mga kasular, no? if you try to choose 24 volts in a uh, uh, between between 24 volts 100 ampere hour lipo battery and 12 volts 200 ampere hour battery is yung lesser voltage mga loads yung 12 volts smaller voltage na system mo is dumudubli yung current rating mo so that means to say mas dubli yung wire ng size mo and then mas dubli yung size ng controller mo yung solar charge controller so lalaki yung controller lalaki yung wire La, kadahil lumalaki yung amperahe as the voltage decreases. So, yan lang ang pagkakaiba ng ating 24 volt and 12 volt.
lipo battery. So basically yung mga loads basic basic na and ano lang. Na. So mas maganda no eventually if pipiliin mo 48 volts because lumiliit na shallow yung current rating. So that means to say na mas lesser requirements ng yung mga solar charge controller and your sizes ng wires. So makakatipid ka sa ganong paraan. Okay, mga lords. So, sana malinaw sa inyo. We hope to see you again. And please, leave a like or comment if you have more questions. See you again, mga lords, in the next video.